Hey there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. And for when this really resonates with you. So Sagittarius, let's call in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power to get messages for your greatest timeline. Okay, for Sagittarius greatest timeline, next 48 hours using the spirit animal oracle. And then we're gonna get into Maybe some more Oracle. We'll just see as we go, honestly. We'll just see as we go. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. So, <laughs> I like the pig spirit. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. And I love this one. 16, coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Life does not always make sense. Getting from point A to point B, we would think that the shortest line, you know, the linear would be the, the quickest way getting there. But Coyote Spirit's like, no, no, no. Spirit has things. And, and sometimes it's done in spiral form. And it takes us a while to get to where we're getting. But trust that this is all working out for a certain reason. Like it's all working out this way for that reason. Um, I'm going to look in the book for you real quick just to see if there's anything else that they might want to add to this okay it says do you, do you feel like you're on a strange detour it says trust the divine order right now because spirit has a plan and even if it looks like things are going astray they are not 47 um pig spirit use your mind wisely it says you have the gift of intelligence so you need to use have the right use for your intelligence spirit blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-minded dialogues now is a time that your decision making powers are reliable for you are in alignment with pig spirit it's keen intelligence <laughs> all right so there's your animal oracle i'm gonna put that up like that and we're gonna get you something from the wisdom of the oracles haven't used this one in a while for sagittarius new life which is a good one it's about your manifestations coming to life so maybe they're almost coming to life or something like that so new life either this is about you really giving new life to something like empress energy um you know creating new life or this is giving something that you had previously thought would not work a new life giving manifestation a new life and a new chance to be to be hey let me get something from the southern oracle let's get something from southern oracle okay <laughs> Pot calling the kettle black, hypocrisy, projection, similarity, blame, introspection needed. Introspection needed. All right, so here is your tarot now, Sagittarius. Let's get right into this. What is the issue with Sagittarius? What's the issue? Um, you don't want to give away your power. Empress energy here, possibly um, trying to figure out how to rebuild something without giving away your power, um, may have to do with custody or issues with children. Um, this might have to do with your creation, like getting assistance, but not wanting, like if you gave a book to someone to read and they wanted you to change something, you know what I mean? Like, how do I do this without changing what I've created? Okay. The heart of the matter, at the heart of the matter, you may be going on a journey. It's to lighten your load. Where you're going, you will know because the high priestess is here, meaning your intuition should be, should be on point. It should be like off the chart good with the high priestess energy and the empress energy. So being really intuitive um, and just kind of knowing, just kind of knowing psychic ability high priestess psychic abilities okay i'm gonna change this just a little bit 
There we go, so that you can see more here. Okay, so let's do it like this. So the past energy, past energy, whoa. <laughs> I have you trying to search for the truth. Card of Libra, ultimately uh, representing the truth, possibly going to court, possibly having a day in court. Um, but it is about the scales balancing and finding truth. So possibly court issues or, yeah, heck, you might work in the court system. Um, the present energy or the now moment has you contemplating inside yourself, uh, in, in your own intuition, in your own power of like, is this worth it? Was this worth it or is it not? It's about choices and consequences when you see the seven of pentacles too. Choices and consequences. Sagittarius, what's your near future energy looking like? The Three of Cups, possibly somebody overdoing it when it comes to partying um, or drinking or ingesting anything that makes you a little unclear in the head because the Three of, the three of Cups is like in the reverse, overdoing it. And here's five, could have been over partying that led to a conflict or led to... Uh, arguments, heated arguments here could be because of somebody needing to be like in this empress energy and not acting like this empress energy, not acting responsible about it. Okay, let, let me go further too. Okay, so just watch on overdoing it, on um, not overdoing it because it there's the energy of it could turn into an argument if if the if we overdo it somehow with going out ingesting something <laughs> okay how do you feel how do you feel like you're releasing a lot of disappointment and regret but you are releasing it so maybe that in a way is is feeling kind of angry could be could be feeling a little angry I don't know that because you were releasing it. So I don't know why you would feel angry releasing some. Well, yeah, you might be. The um, nine of wands in the reverse in this situation around is that somebody's just withdrawing their energy from a person or situation. So try not to give away your power, but also not keeping something so close to yourself anymore. Um, not really putting up or defending something. Uh, not persisting. Withdrawing your energy. Withdrawing your energy. It's, it feels like from an argument. Like withdrawing your energy from argument. Hopes or fears here. Hopes or fears. Ten of swords um, is about either a mother figure or like... Um, this justice feeling like this was too late like this is too much it's the ten of swords is like too little too late um or or you, this is death by a thousand paper cuts like you've hurt me so many times over and over that now i'm i can't put any more energy into this which is the same as this nine of wands in the reverse is withdrawing your energy not giving any more energy into a situation because it's hurt you for like the last time Okay, the outcome here for Sagittarius, the outcome, is the magician in the reverse and the hermit. Okay, it's in reverse because you need to be very clear on what you actually want. Because the hermit's telling us that you need to still go inside and do more journey into yourself, into finding out what it is that you actually want to manifest. And I think that you will manifest it once you're very clear on what it is that you want. It's like revising your dreams or your goal. Okay. King of Cups on the bottom in the reverse. Somebody maybe couldn't keep their um, temper. You know what I mean? Couldn't hold their temper. They were just um, like angry maybe. Maybe dealing with somebody who's just an angry person. Um, let's get some information here on this Four of Pentacle in the reverse. What is this about? Four of Pentacle in the reverse. No, <laughs> that's too, too many. Four pentacle in reverse. Really? <sighs> I'm going to have to take it now because I already grabbed it. The ten of pentacles is uh, here. Ten of pentacles, long-term happiness. 
long-term happiness. Six of wands in the reverse tells me you're not telling people about something that you're achieving. The two of swords here is like a peaceful resolution, having to make a difficult decision. There's seven of pentacles again, seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles, wondering um, if it was all worth it. Now having to deal with choices and, or consequences, choices and consequences. But here is a knight of cups. So it's like there's a good offer that comes in in this whole justice situation that ends up kind of freeing you, making it feel like a peaceful resolution was found. Okay, what is this near future energy with the three of cups? The Four of Cups in their reverse. Somebody looking outside of themselves to find happiness instead of in. Through drinking or partying. And it doesn't work. <laughs> Anything else on this outcome now? Anything else on the outcome? There has to be change. Yeah. we're gonna. You'll end up having to leave a situation behind if we don't go ahead and change something that is bringing conflict into our life and um something that is like i said overindulgence or out of control and it's something you're gonna have to leave behind you if you want to get it in under control so let's get um let me get this deck the power to surrender let's see what comes out Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, or aha moments that will come through to guide you. Okay, and our um, fairy dust. Fairy dust for Sagittarius. What do we have? Fairy dust for Sagittarius. Aw, I'm feeling like somebody's crying here with this. The rain. Rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away and release some of the sadness. Release some sadness. Okay, the playlist oracle. I'm going to grab one of these. The playlist oracle. We have the song Slide by Her. Um, this is just about, like, looking good, I guess, her. And then Tyrese, signs of lovemaking. There are, there are the signs that are made for each other. <laughs> Says, are you a Zodiac freak? I'm a Capricorn. I came here to get Manish. Oh, I know it's good when you start to speak Spanish. Aries, sexually <laughs> full of energy. After I'm done, you still telling me you want me. Met a Gemini. Oh, what a sex drive. She wanted it front and back, left and right. Baby, I will guarantee to give you everything your body's missing. <laughs> okay, so that was that. And then we'll do some tea leaves and wrap up your reading. Or close up your reading, actually. Don't make any big risky things don't do anything big or risky right now arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life be careful because tiger is here saying you're going to do something risky and take a chance but be careful while doing so and then archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up for you all right Tad cherry is thanks so much send you love and light bye-bye